So on the calculator, the inverse cosecant of 2 would actually be the inverse sine of 1 over that 2. So to enter in the calculator, we press second and sine for the inverse sine or arc sine, and then 1 divided by 2. No need to close parentheses, just press enter. So it's 30 degrees. If you're in radians, it's pi over 6. So second example, if we have the inverse secant of negative 2 or the arc secant of negative 2, we press second and cosine to activate the inverse cosine function and 1 divided by that negative 2. Enter and that's 120 degrees or 2 pi over 3 radians. Lastly if we have inverse cotan or arc cotan of 1 that would be inverse tan or arc tan of 1 over 1. So we press second tan for the inverse tan. 1 over 1 is 1 so I'm just going to press 1 and enter and it's 45 degrees or pi over 4 radians. Be aware that you will encounter some arc cotan of undefined values if you take the reciprocal of 0. Be aware of the vertical asymptotes of the tan and cotangent functions, the points where the graph does not exist. So realize this last caveat down here, some of these do not exist.